we can get the average goal scored and conceded data from soccer stats. So with that, we can use our Poisson model and simulate games. And if we simulate 100,000 games, we can kind of see how often did the home team win? How often was it a draw? And so on. So that's kind of a, a bottom-up model. We look to simulate goals. Goals scored and conceded. And if we know that, then we know whether it's going to be... If we do that, then we can forecast the result. We can see whether it's going to be both teams to score three or more goals and so on. But we don't know how accurate it is. We don't know if the manager got sacked two weeks ago. Should we use the data for the games before the manager got sacked? Should we use the home goal scored or the total goal scored? Each of the steps has assumptions, uncertainty. So, yes, we simulate and generate results and answers, but we don't know whether we should listen to them. Here, we're going to use another approach. Here, we get our data from footballdata.co.uk where we can download data for this season as well as previous ones and for the Italian League, French League, German League and so on. That not only tells us what the scores were for each of the games, but also what the odds were. How, what were the odds for a home win, a draw and an away win? What we're going to do here is try and find a pattern. What we're going to try and do is just look at the odds and try and predict the final outcome. So the odds d should take everything into account. In particular, I use the Bet365 ones. So if you go to Bet365, you can get all the odds. And basically, if the odds are wrong, so if the odds for Man City to win a home were evens, so double your money, 2.0, then money would rush in. Because people would go, the probability, the ch whatever, whatever model you use, will probably suggest that Man City are very likely to win. So if Bet365 were offering I'll double your money, money would surge in and people would be happy to take that bet. So the odds fall and fall and fall until they're no longer, there's equilibrium. There's no longer, there's a balance between buyers and sellers. The point being that when you have the odds decided by the market as opposed to a model, it takes into account all the range of opinions that people might have. And so it sh tends to be incredibly accurate. It's not always right. But it tends to be. It's hard to compete with. I mean, as I said, if the market comes 
to a value and the actual value I don't know how you can know what the actual value is but if better if the leading models say something else uh, they will be driven to take that bet so it's very basically it's very hard if not impossible to create a model like the Poisson model or whatever model you want you you want that does better than the market you might think it does but then try it out so with that in mind we just use the data from uh, football results what was it called football data yeah football data into our R and just applied a simple machine learning to it resulting in this so here we have all the games that have been played in the season so far and all the odds and this is what the machine learning came up with in particular it's the R part package so I'll just try it out I want to look at Liverpool versus Man United so the odds for Liverpool to win are for home team to win are 2.62 and draw is 3.3 .3. odds for home team greater than 2.9 no odds for a draw are 3.3 .3. so we go here odds for draw greater than 3.4 pretty particular no so we end up here so based on the odds on bet365 for the liverpool man united match it says the most likely outcome is liverpool to win now we don't know we'd actually want to then test the model see how well does it do we can also look at man city stoke man city to win are 1.12 draw is 8 home prob odds greater than 2.9 no prob odds for draw less than 3.6 no so for man city versus stoke it's saying man city to win probability 68 percent so for liverpool it was 47 percent now once we now that we have this model we can test it out we don't actually need to do it with our own money we can just use the same process feed in the first six games and end up with a model and then see what this model would have predicted for week seven how often was it right and that's the way we can try out different models and pick the best one so that's what we want to do in the next video See you then.